So you want to make Wellington a more livable place, but you're worried it will cost too much, be too complex, take too long, or be too confusing? Fear not, for here are three things you can do right now. Thing the first, human focused traffic timings. This intersection of Cable and Schaefer streets on a Sunday morning prioritizes potential vehicles over actual people. Imagine if all these people were in single occupancy cars, how far would that queue stretch? A more frequent pedestrian phase would move more people through the intersection per hour. Even changing just the Sunday morning pattern would make a significant difference. Another example is the junction between Manners, Bullcott and Willis Streets. Even at a quiet time in the afternoon, after lunch and before school's end, more people are waiting at the side of the road than driving through in cars. Factor in waiting buses and the time given to cars is vastly disproportionate per head. Thing the second, more motorcycle parking. On a typical weekday, I couldn't be confident there would be any spare motorcycle parking capacity in the entire CBD. Every bay I saw had between 1 and minus 2 spaces free, as in, they were overflowing. Even with the larger spaces, demand outstripped supply. Why is motorcycling important? Active and public transport serves places like Miramar and Northland well. But terrible suburbs like Brooklyn and Broadmeadows really require private motorized transport for many journeys. Motorcycles and scooters are cheap, low carbon alternatives to a car commute, and contribute less to congestion and parking saturation. Look at how rich and poor are equally benefited. Look at how few people are served per square meter by the adjacent car parks. Let's make more space for motorbikes. Thing the third. Reallocate this particular wasted space. On the crest of Karori Road, there are two narrow road lanes and two parking bays. The south side one is broad and heavily utilised by parents, students and staff of Marston College. This north side one is narrow, seldom used and has no pedestrian access. It only takes one person to park here though, and the road narrows significantly forcing slower uphill cyclists into traffic and pushing the frequent massive trucks and buses into the south side doors of children. What should we do? We could widen both lanes equally. Alternatively, we could have the center line on an angle so the uphill sides are wider than the downhills and it works better for a mix of cars and bikes. Either of these would be a win-win for everyone. It's always challenging allocating limited space in the urban context, especially when balancing the needs of the present with the future, but these three simple modifications are easy steps that will make a positive difference to the lives of Wellingtonians.